Today on the channel, we unbox the new Marvel Legends MCU X-Men Edition. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, back again on the channel, and today, a Marvel Legends unboxing. The recent Marvel Legend X-Men Movie Edition figures. We got Hugh Jackman, we got all our favorites here opening up, and uh, we're going to start with Wolverine today. A little note on these, I actually found these about a month ago at Books A Million, BAM, it's a bookstore. Shocked to find those in there. Just stumbled across the whole set. Uh, as this first uh, full weekend of October, as I'm recording this, uh, these are hitting your targets like crazy. Even a few uh, Walmarts out there, I believe. But check your targets for these. They have just started showing up. The street date, mod date, reset date, whatever you want to call it, was, uh, I believe, 10-4. So as of uh, December, December, October 4th, you can pick these up at your Target stores fairly easy. So uh, grab them if uh, you like what you see, I guess I'll say. But like I said, we're going to start with Wolverine. This is kind of the leather street coat uh, Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Uh, a couple weeks ago on the channel, we did unbox the Amazon exclusive Wolverine Hugh Jackman inspired edition. I absolutely love that figure. We'll see if this one can top that one. By the looks in the package, I don't think it will, but got to open it up to know for sure. So let's take a peek. Here it is. Comes with extra hands, extra head. You definitely could tell Hugh Jackman. Uh, these figures are so much improved on the old uh, Toy Biz, I believe it was at the day, uh, inspired X-Men figures. I passed on every single one of those. I thought they looked like hot garbage, uh, so I didn't want anything to do with them. But uh, these, uh, I love these. These are going to go great with my MCU X-Men characters, I guess, that I'm building a collection of now, as you'll see in this video. But there it is, the new box. Uh, I really do like this new box format. Uh, you got the X down there on the below. You got Wolverine. You got Marvel Legends in the top uh, left corner. Interesting note, though, $24.99 on these new ones. Uh, Marvel Legends uh, historically have been around the $20 mark at uh, Target and Walmart. $25. I think a little bit of this is smoke and mirrors, putting it in this little fancier or perce perceived fancier box, tricking people to think, oh, it's a fancier product. It's, you know, whatever. Pay $5 more. At the end of the day, these are similar to the other Marvel Legends. I, I do worry, and I think it's coming. It's always inevitable. A price hike, I think, is coming to our Marvel Legends figures and a lot of other Hasbro figures. They are testing the water, seeing what these do at the $24.99 price point. And I, I can see them upping the game and going to $24.99 across the board on all single-carded Marvel Legends. With that, though, uh, putting on my business hat and how we do it in the business, uh, similar but different, uh, you know, when you do do that extra price point, you will do some hot specials. So, hey, you're selling them every day at $24.99. You used to be selling them at $19.99. You might see some hot deals of, you know, $17.99 in a weekend ad. Or maybe, uh, you know, a $20 old price point. Uh, peppered in for the first maybe six months to a year once they go to this price point. There should be some sales. Uh, historically, that's how every chain does that. I don't care if we're talking groceries. I don't care if we're talking figures. I don't care if we're talking, uh, you know, clothing. Uh, that's what happens. And it gets people kind of eased into that price point. Um, so we'll see. Uh, my guess is Hasbro will do that with these as well. Time will tell, as we always say. But we looked at the front. There's the side. You got the silhouette kind of Wolverine with the claws, given the color. Really cool. Same thing on the other side. Exact same thing on the back. You guys know what I'm going to say about this. Zero file card, zero anything. Couldn't you put a little blurb? Marvel Legends is usually pretty good about this. A little blurb down below. Wolverine from X2 or, or whatever. Say what this is from. Um, but they don't. They don't listen to me. That's fine. What do I know? Uh, and then all the legal stuff on the bottom. Well, let's open it up. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to the brass tacks, huh? Come on. Open up. There it is. Pull Wolverine out. Little box. See you later. All right. Really cool. I do like the background here. I do like that X. Very cool. You can put that out. Fold it. Fold it. And there you go. You got a little background diorama if you want to use that in a background fil fil uh, figure photography. Easy for me to say. Whatever you want to do. See you later. Coming back at me. Almost like a boomerang. Let's take a look at Hugh in the package. There he is, like I said, extra hands, extra head. Very interesting uh, distress marks on this uh, Wolverine jacket. Kind of, They made it kind of look distressed, I guess you would call it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it works. 
Uh, let's see. Pop them out. No ties, no twist ties, nothing. See you later. Uh, love the claws on this. I love that the claws are a little bit thicker than uh, traditional X-Men ones uh, from the Marvel Legends in the past. Uh, yeah, really like the claws in this one. It's so tough for me to display Wolverine without claws. I always want him wearing claws in every single uh, display I have, but I really need to mix it up and put some of these uh, plain Jane hands on every once in a while. Gonna take a look at the hand heads here. I, I love what they did here. I, I say it a lot. I forget. I did another review a while back. Uh, I think maybe it was Venom uh, from the new Marvel Legends thing. I love that they give you a head that's screaming and then a normal head. So he's not always at, you know, 15 flipping out, going crazy. Uh, you can mix it up and you can put the, the softer, smoother head. And I might actually use this one on this one. But a, a very good figure. Better than anticipated uh, from the outside looking in. Uh, I like the distress on the jeans, and but the jacket misses a little bit. It just looks, it looks like there's paint imperfections to me on the jacket. Uh, I know they're trying to go for that weathered look, like he's worn this jacket for 50 years and all that, but uh, something in the wash loses me a little bit. But besides that, man, spot on head sculpt. I love the flannel underneath, and then the wife beater underneath that. Uh, that's good attention to detail. The jeans are perfect. Uh, a little dirtier on the wash than I would like, but not absolutely atrocious. But very, very good figure. I uh, I do recommend this one. I They have killed it with all these so far that I've uh, seen, and just by the looks at them. Let's see this ringside stand. Do we fit? I bet he does. Oh, ringside collectibles, you've done it again. You don't support the show. Maybe you will one day. We'll see, but... Uh, your stands work perfectly for these Marvel Legends, nine times out of ten, if not more sometimes. And he fits like a glove on here. Uh, you got to put him on these stands. I always say it, spend your money on your figures. Don't spend them on your stands. You can get these very cheap from Ringside Collectibles. Tell them Kyle Peterson sent you uh, and go from there. But he fits like a glove. This is a good figure. Uh, typical articulation as usual with Marvel Legends. You got the elbows, the wrists, the interchangeable head and hands. You got the head movement, the waist movement, the ab crunch, the double jointed knees. It's all there for you. He can get in any kind of position you want him to. So very solid, very highly recommended. Uh, be smart with these though. Get it right away if you really have to have it. About $25 price point, but I do foresee some clearance and holiday specials. We're seeing pictures already of these stores just jam-packed full of these. Uh, I think they're going to be pretty plentiful for the holidays, which we need to. Kids need their toys for Christmas, especially in 2020. Uh, but we'll see a lot of these out there. And we might, if you play the long game, you might be able to get a deal on this one uh, down the road. Anyways, that's Wolverine. A thumbs up for me. Let's look to the next one. All right, next up in the lineup, we got the Professor X Magneto 2-Pack. You know, this new box style, we saw it with Storm and Thunderbird. We see it with the new Deadpool figures, uh, the Wolverines, the Old Man Logan, Old Man Hawkeye. I like the uniformity of the package, very similar. It's really interesting that they chose a few to be single, the Domino, Deadpool, the two Wolverines. Uh, I'd almost like to see either all singly packed or all double packed. Maybe that's just me. Um, or maybe make a whole line of singles, then have two or three double packs. I'm really picking uh, at straws here. I'm really uh, getting down deep, but that's just kind of how I'd like to see it. Almost like my favorite classic superstars from Jax. Do a single series run, a two-pack run, a three-pack run. I would have liked to see something like that. But more figures we get, especially this quality of figures, I'm okay with. I'll live. I'll make it work. Here's Magneto and Professor X. Once again, movie-inspired. Uh, very cool. And I like that you can do Old Man Professor X, Old Man Magneto, or their younger versions. That is really cool. And then we also get a wheelchair with Professor X. So you can say, hey, this is pre-wheelchair Professor X walking around, you know, doing his thing. Or you can stick him in his wheelchair. This is obviously not the X-Men animated series, cartoon, comic book style wheelchair. This is your old uh, World War II uh, inspired wheelchair. This reminds me of. Um, on the side, you got Magneto's picture. You got Charles Xavier on the other side, the silhouettes. Very cool Marvel Legends on the top. All the legal fun and UPCs on the bottom. And then, of course, the back. Once again, nothing. Nothing to be said back there. Just plain Jane. I, I don't understand. Uh, looking at this, boy, you got four heads for Magneto, two heads for Professor X. That is absolutely insane. What Magneto do you use? I mean, that gets tough. You almost need two of these two-packs. And I'm telling you right now, 
if uh, some way these go on clearance real cheap one of these days, if it's like that Black Panther 2-pack or Ghost Ant-Man 2-pack where they're down to 7 bucks, I'd definitely pick one of these up at another price. I'd do one old man Magneto, one old man uh, Professor Xavier, and then have their younger self. Uh, I would definitely do that. I'm going to play the long game. We'll see how that turns out six months from now. We'll see if I uh, end up getting lucky on that. But let's open it up. Let's see what we got going. I just It's almost like we are spo so spoiled in this day and age with all these figures and extra heads and extra hands. You don't even know how to display things anymore. There's that X background we've seen before. See you later. Oh, we all fell out. We had the... Uh, that's, a, that's a new use, I believe, for a wheelchair. We've never had this in Marvel Legends, I don't think. Uh, just your typical kind of wheelchair, but uh, you got to put it together a little there. But very cool. Very cool. Whenever we get a new sculpt or a new thing, I'm all in. I, I love it. There it is. Look at all that. A lot of accessories in this pack. But I was saying with the heads, I don't even know which one to display. I hate it because usually you, you pick one and then you put the other ones away. I have a big Tupperware thing full of individual baggies of all these uh, accessories. It's, it's not one of those things where you're like, you know what, I'm going to take my time this Sunday afternoon and I'm going to go through and I'm going to switch all these heads and hands out. It just doesn't happen. You usually pick one, you stick with it for right or for wrong. That's at least how I do it. I would love to know in the comments, how do you guys do it that you display Marvel Legends, these figures with all these extra hands? What do you do? Do you switch them out regularly? I don't think anybody does. Who has the patience or time for it? I think you pick your favorite and you go with it. Or you buy two of a figure and you display both of them with different heads. But I would love to hear your guys' opinion on that. Let me get these wheels out of here. Come on. There's one. And there's two. And we know what we do with this. We're going to go see you later. Go long way out there. Oh my. We've got hands. I'm not going to show all these hands off. You guys know all about hands. Here's the old man Xavier head though. I'll show you guys that one. We'll do a little glamour shot business. We'll mix them up. We'll see what we think. I like this old man uh, Ian McKellen head. I like that. Looks just like him. Really cool. Um, what's this guy's name? I don't even remember the actor's name. Michael Fassbender, maybe? Is that right? I don't know. I know I know toys. I don't know movies. Uh, Magneto. There's the one with the helmet on. Old man Magneto with the helmets. They give us the uh, regular head, the Magneto head, old man head, and they got two younger heads. Cool enough. Let's see if I can put this uh, wheelchair together. Uh, easier said than done. Am I missing a piece? I don't know. I don't know how this wheelchair goes on here. Am I missing a piece? Well, you might have to come back for wheelchair excitement because it doesn't make a lot of sense. You got this. There should be a, a spot right here, but I don't see a little deal. Um, Could have got over anxious. I might have thrown those in the box. We'll, we'll see. That happens from time to time. When you, when you get that see you later going, you get in the rhythm, and you just got to throw it. All right, Professor X... Young Professor X. We've seen this suited mold many times. I think the most recent we saw with the Stan Lee figure. Uh, that figure ended up being kind of hard to get. Uh, I never opened mine. I think I'll leave it in the package. But very similar body structure and everything else to that. I love suited figures. The nice thing, uh, another reason to play the long game, you can buy this. So many characters come with extra heads. You can pop this head off and you can make this to be somebody else. You know, a J. Jonah Jameson head you can pop on here. Uh, there's tons of different heads. You want a suited version of a Cyclops, you can put you know his head on here. So suited figures, the more the better. I'd love to see some army building suited figures via Hasbro Pulse one of these days. Um, but really no complaints. A little smudge underneath the eye. The left eye on Professor X, so that's a little annoying. Um... But yeah, you can choose which Professor X. I think the uh, Patrick Stewart head looks better from first glance to me. It's probably how I'm going to do it. But we'll see. I'm going to do it both ways. We'll show the pictures. We'll see what we like best. And then, of course, Magneto. I like this Magneto a lot. A little different spin on the traditional Magneto we know and love. But uh, similar but different, like I like to call it. So very close. There he is. Look at that. I like that half cape. Usually I don't like half capes. Kind of like that Drayden Vaz in my Star Wars review uh, recently unboxing. I didn't like his half cape. I like Magneto's half cape. Always makes me wonder, though, why why go half cape? Why not go full? You say, ah, you know, this full cape just too heavy. doesn't fit me just right. I need the half cape. I don't know if that was what uh, Magneto would do. 
but uh, makes it sound like it. So there you have it, another solid two pack. Boy, Marvel Legends, Hasbro firing on all cylinders right now. This truly is the golden age of Marvel Legends. I truly, truly believe that. Um, and these are uh, no exception to that rule. We got one left. Let's open up Mystique. All right, finally, let's open up this Mystique. But just like I thought, I got so excited to give that big CU later that I forgot the little peg that connects the two uh, wheelchair chair uh, wheels together on the bottom. So I'll take Xavier off. They fit there. It fits uh, right in there, a little wrenchy type thing in the middle. Clicks right in, pops and snaps. Real easy to do. Just be careful. You can barely see it in the package. It's a little bit hidden at the top, and it's almost clear, so it does blend in with that package. But there it is. We got the wheelchair. All is good. Finally, we got Mystique. And I tell you what, this is probably, out of all these new box figures, this is probably the one I think looked the worst and the one I'm least excited about. But you got to get it. You know how it is. Being a completionist, you got to complete it. Why wouldn't you? You buy every single other one, you got to get this one. Why, why would you not? That's the way I think about it. But there's Mystique. Uh, I don't know if I'm just so brainwashed by the X-Men animated series cartoon um, as well as the comic book Mystique. That's Mystique whenever I think of her. This Mystique never did it for me in the movies. I always thought it was a stretch. It always looked weird to me. It's just not the Mystique I want or wanted all the way back then. And I guess I hold a grudge to this day. Um, but there it is. Side. Similar graphics we've seen on all these. Kind of a silhouette. Zero explanation on the back. And just kind of a plain Jane figure inside. You got an extra arm and two hands. It just looks like it needs something else. I, normally it would be a build-a-figure piece that would kind of even this box out. But there's no build-a-figures in these figures. Which, again, makes the $25 price point seem a little steep. Because the other ones, we get all this stuff, sometimes more, plus a build-a-figure part. I almost wonder if some of these movie-inspired ones, if there's a higher cost, I'm guessing there is probably a higher cost involved because you got actors that played these parts and they probably have to get a royalty cut that is probably a lot more than an artist cut. That's just uh, my brain working a little bit, and I'm sure it's probably somewhat right. Um, what am I wrong? <laughs> All the time. See you later. All right, a Mystique is another small figure, female figure, smaller. Interesting take with that real, like, real arm, I guess is what you call it, the uh, human colored arm. Uh, it's an interesting deal. I guess it adds a little little change to the figure. Come on. Got a little tape in here holding these little hands. You know, the female hands are always so small. So, yeah, it's just a regular arm. Got a little blue on there, a little smudge. And there you go. Bust her out. See you later. I don't know. I would have rather seen an extra head. Maybe uh, one of the other female characters' heads, like she was transforming into them or something. Very uh, scaly. Very creature of the Black Lagoon. Inspired with the red back hair always kind of throwing me. Um, I don't know. I, I think my uh, first thoughts uh, stay the same on this one. Just doesn't do a whole lot for me. This was not one of my favorite characters from the movies. Uh, it's just always felt like something's missing here. I don't know if I'll... Let's just do it right now, huh? Let's pop... Maybe. Maybe. Well, oh, pop the hand off. Maybe I won't be able to. The hand arm is not popping off as easy as you would hope it would. Uh, I'm going to put this fist on here, though, because I was thinking about doing that. You know, she's got two fists. She's ready to throw down a drop of a hat. Not going to get this arm out right now, at least. I don't know. It's in there pretty good. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's see. How's this look? Nah, that's not fun. It just looks weird. But there she is with uh, the regular arm on. I think if you if you display this one, you got to go all blue. I think that's that's the way to go. All blue. I'm doing that. Come on. Go back in. I appreciate the tightness of the joints. Nothing worse when you pull one of these things out and then it's all loose. That's bad, but here it is. That's Mystique. Is what it is. Not my favorite. Definitely my least favorite of this line. No peg holes on the bottom, so no stands will be used with her, of course. Uh, but obviously, uh, this Wolverine, let's, let's wrap up the show here. Wolverine, Magneto, Professor X, 
this Wolverine, I think, is my favorite. Even though I don't like him as much as the Amazon Wolverine, I do still feel it is a very strong Wolverine. It's actually growing on me. Uh, my only downfall is some of the brown stress, like I said on there. But all in all, you I love Wolverine so much. He's always been my favorite. I'm putting him number one. Uh, number two, I'm going to do a number a tie here between these two. They're both good figures. Going to have to play around with heads and hands where I want them to land. Do I want to do old? Do I want to do young? Am I going to play the long game and get both and get a young one and an old one? You know I probably will down the line. And then Mystique is a distant last one. I would count her last on all these Marvel uh, new box, $24.99, $49.99 packs. Um, just not a lot of love for me with Mystique. Uh, unfortunately. Let's see if Magneto fits in the stand for ringside. Yep, he does. There you go. Once again, the ringside stands come in handy. Whoop. you got to still balance them, right? But uh, fits like a glove on there, too. So Very solid set. I highly recommend you pick these up. Maybe be smart, play the long game. Uh, but you guys tell me in the comments, are you picking these up? Have you already picked these up? Are you playing that long game? Going to save a few dollars? Wait for some sales this holiday season. You know Targets. They always do that thing in the holiday season. Spend $100, get a $20 gift card. You can get all these figures for $100. bucks. get 20 25 bucks back for your next purchase. Bingo. That's what you want to do. That's how you be smart with this. And then buy a Target red card. Use that. Save an extra 5%. You got to get a deal out there. I wish I could have. I could do that. I wish I had more patience for these things. But I see things and I got to get them now. Uh, but hopefully some of you guys are playing the long game. But you tell me in the comments your opinion, what you think. Do you want these? Are you a pass on the movie line? Are you only comic line inspired? A lot of discussion topics there. Um, but that's it. Hopefully you guys like the video, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, and leave me your comments. And that's it. For Wolverine, Professor X, Magneto, and Mystique, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.